not just a winter playground anymore. The dining scene is exploding. It's just as hot as the weather. I'm Rosanna Scotto, and this is A Taste of Miami. South Florida, the sixth borough for New Yorkers. The sun and sand now enticing you year round. A playground for the rich and famous. I'm ready to party with you. It's my weekend, babe. It's my weekend. Wow, look at you. What are you going to ask Eva Longoria after this interview? I'm wondering, is it too early to have a shot of? No, it's not too early. And now, a culinary capital. The old school burger by Rev Run. Couldn't wait. It was so good. Secrets from the kitchen. Dropping a plate of food on a nun. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. And the bathroom? I am taking you inside the hottest restaurants in town, plus exclusive interviews with celebrity chefs who are bringing the heat to the largest food and wine festival in the country. The South Beach Wine and Food Festival draws tens of thousands of visitors every year. Considered one of America's favorite gourmet gatherings on the beach, the festival consists of more than 70 events. I am with the man behind the success of the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, Lee Schrager. How do you do it? That's a good question. You know, you don't think about it, you just do it. So, I mean, what is it like to bring all these different personalities together under one tent? Intense. 400 chefs from all around the world, over 100 winemakers from 37 countries, all gathered on, you know, one of the most be beautiful beaches in the world, all for a four-day weekend to help eat, drink, educate, and raise money for the hospitality school down here. The action on the beach spilling over to the W Hotel in South Beach, a home away from home for the famous faces and celebrity chefs looking for some fun in the sun. Lee, you have a lot of Hollywood people here this year. What's up with that? Well, Hollywood's into uh, spirits and making money. So, you know, everyone after that George Clooney, uh, the big deal with George Clooney, everyone wanted that billion dollar sale. So as you know, we have Ava Longoria, we have Kate Hudson, Adam Levine, they're all here, Dwayne Wade. My first stop under the tents, King Street Vodka, its founder, Hollywood royalty. I feel almost famous, I'm with Kate Hudson. How many times have you heard that? My, I mean, since I since I did Almost Famous. I'm sorry. That's okay. But That's I'm ready okay. to party with you. You are. You're here to party. This is a this is definitely a party vibe. What brings you to Miami? This my my vodka. The vibe in Miami is so crazy, right? Wow, it's pretty crazy. It's definitely a, a very different from Los Angeles and from New York. Yes, it's very different. Although I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I know, I'm enjoying I mean, it too. You know, it's, I mean, the sun is beautiful. The beach is beautiful. We get to have some cocktails. I don't have my kids. That's very rare. Woo! So, you are ready to hit the tent. It's my weekend, babe. It's my weekend. So tell us about King Street Vodka. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind it? Inspiration for me was simple. I am a vodka drinker. I mean, I'll drink anything. I don't discriminate when it comes to, to a, a cocktail. But it's my go-to. And... I just realized there was never a bottle that I wanted out on my bar that was really pretty. And I wanted something that was as pure and spoke to women, really. I like a straight vodka if it's really nice. I did it with alkaline water, so I think it creates a really, almost like a, 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 little, a little flavor to it, which is really nice. I think it's why mixologists really like it. We got our sex on the beach, which Wait. I'd like to bring back. Sex on the beach, you're yeah. by yourself this weekend, Kate. Oh, no, 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 not for me. Is it too early to have a little toast? Not at all, which one do you want? Uh, sex on the beach. <laughs> it's really good. By the way, congratulations. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hope you have sex on the beach. Cheers, guys. Hi, New York, I love you. Getting into the spirit of things from vodka to tequila. She is the star of TV, the big screen producer, entrepreneur. Now, Ava Longoria shaking up the tequila world. Yes, trying to. <laughs> so what's that been like for you? Oh, amazing. It's an amazing uh, journey because I'm with this particular brand. You know, uh, we're not a 
tequila for females, but there's a lot of women in lead positions in our company, which is very rare in this industry. I was wondering, because it is a male-dominated industry, yes. what's it been like trying to break through? Yeah, if you look at all the marketing of all tequilas on the market, it's like white male. You know, right. and you're like, where's the Mexican and where's the woman? Check. And I'm right and here. <laughs> I love but it. it's also, you know, tequila is mostly consumed by women. So why shouldn't women make it? And uh, that's what we're really excited about. Casa del Sol. Also, the juice is so good. We age it in cognac barrels, which is very different than anybody in the region. I have to say the bottles yeah, gorgeous, are right? gorgeous. It's like a perfume, but it's like Chanel number no. five. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and this is the goddess Maya Well. She's the goddess of the agave plant. So of course, like all good things, this was invented by a woman. Fantastic. So I'm just wondering, did you sit down with your pal George Clooney and say, hey, listen, brother, yeah. move, move over. I was like, move over. <laughs> uh, yes, no, you know, what, what we've learned since the George Clooney days of Casa Amigos is it's, it's a very uh, fast growing industry. I'm wondering, is it too early to have a shot of? No, it's not too early. <laughs> Casa del Sol, which means House of the Sun. House of the Sun. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Smooth. Long finish. Thank you so much for talking with us. All the best. Coming up, we're at the W Hotel in South Beach. More from some of the hottest stars under the sun. <laughs> wow. My sister Elena joins me here for a Scotto Sisters Schmooze Fest. I'm sorry. <laughs> then. I surrender. The old school burger by Rev Run. And later. <laughs> when this Fox 5 special, A Taste of Miami, returns. Look at who the tide brought in, my sister Elena, and you are helping me talk with some celebrity chefs. Yes, well you knew you had to bring in the big gun. You never know who you're gonna run in Miami. Oh my goodness. Oh my David Burka, you and know him, chef, fabulous cook. Extraordinaire. And uh, then uh, uh, actor. Oh, an actor, that's who you are, Neil oh. Patrick Harris. <laughs> happy as can be in Miami. And mostly we're happy because our children who are 11 are, are in many ways awful. <laughs> and it gives us the opportunity to, to get, away. get away from them yeah. nice. and like to that. have like a stay yeah. and to um, reconnect and not have to shout at people. I know you briefly mentioned your Netflix project. What is it exactly? So I'm, um, I'm doing a show called Uncoupled, Darren Starr's new show. He oh. did Emily in Paris. And I love him. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> So it's sort of a, like a gay sex in the city. It's fun, it's salacious. I think people are gonna love it. You'll see a lot of my ass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so wait, David, are you okay with this? That's a really good question, David, because I- <laughs> Well, he was I, on the set, it's right? Been, I fooled said, around been, with six different people on the <laughs> show. It was a weirdly weird thing to navigate. As a, as, a, as a husband, knowing that you're going to work and I'm seeing the pictures of these guys, like, the most gorgeous body. <laughs> I get to, you know, you get to spend all day shirtless, naked. He's working. Someone. He's Thank working. You. Exactly. Thank you. Do you find yourself on the sideline going cut? Like as uh, soon as things get heated up, he cut. doesn't come oh, to set on those days. I don't want to go there. Are you oh, ready boy. for yeah. this? <laughs> Key ingredient you can't live without: garlic. Uh, hatch green chili. There's the story of the two of you, the greatest love story in history. Who plays both of you? Uh, Orlando Bloom and Channing Tatum. <laughs> Total, I'm fine with that. That's a great answer. And how does the story end? Oh. They ride off into the sunset. I like the word ride. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> back. <laughs> wow, look at you. What are you going to ask Eva Longoria after this interview? Anyway, <laughs> that's a wrap. I thank you guys. <laughs> literally. I am loving Miami. I know, and everybody is here, including... It's me, Melba. I'm actually your Harlem sister. <laughs> well, I have to say, I love your restaurant in Harlem. And I'm just wondering, are you thinking about maybe an outpost down south? You mean like Miami, Miami? Like Miami, yes, I'm wondering. I mean, everything is better in 
Miami. Why is that? Oh, Why is that? God. It's the feeling. It's the vibe. It's definitely the weather. So we are going to start a Scotto Sister rapid fire. So are you ready? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm ready. One flavor you cannot live without. Salt, salt, and <laughs> more salt. So true. How about favorite kitchen tool? Oh, my favorite kitchen tool definitely has to be a spatula. I'm a spatula kind of girl. Dream job if you didn't have Melba's in Harlem. Oh, my dream job would be an air traffic controller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I love math. I love things high. And uh, hey, I love to be in control, right? Gotcha. <laughs> you are one of a kind. Thank you so much for talking with Thank us. Thank you so much You're for the having best. me. I appreciate you guys. Our next guest here is the fabulous Jet Tila. Such a pleasure to be here, team. Yes. Scotto sandwich. Scotto <laughs> sister sandwich. It. It's the best sandwich. It I is. think he's going to put it on the menu at his 130 restaurants. <laughs> it would sell, too. It would sell amazingly. So what are you doing here? Uh, so a few things. Uh, we had an Asian night market last night. Uh, we had over, I don't know, something like 600 people jam in. Some of the best Asian restaurants in Miami. Are you ready for a Scotto sister rapid fire question? Oh man, I'm I'm ready. Nervous, but ready. Uh, one flavor you cannot live without. Ooh, savory. Worst kitchen story. Oh man, dropping a plate of food on a nun. <gasps> yeah. You're going to hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was a Catholic school kid, <laughs> and I thought I was cool serving the, the sisters that were our teachers, and boom, knocked it right over. <laughs> Jet Tila, always fun to talk to you. We love you. Thank you so much. We are with one of the biggest stars on the Food Network, Amberell. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, lovely ladies. We know you live in Brooklyn. Well, as of May, I'm a new Brooklynite, and I have to say, I love it so much. Like, I just love the, the mom and pop shops. I love just being able to walk around in different neighborhoods. I love it still a little gritty. I'm looking at those tattoos. Tell us about it. When I turned 40, my mom said to me, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, I don't know, like some art. And she's like, don't you want something more permanent? And I heard permanent art. Thank you so much, Amberell. You're the best. Oh, thank you guys so much for having me. This has been delightful. Thank I'm gonna you. next time I'm gonna think of a an Amberell for the Scotto sisters. Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah I can. Bring it back. <laughs> Scotto Sisters has gotten ourselves a very fancy bartender. You damn you know right. Him. You Good know him too. Handsome. Uh, by the way, you know him from the kitchen. We got him out of the kitchen. We got him in the bar. A little bit of twist of lemon. And there you have it. Right from James Bond, Ian Fleming, 1953 Casino Royale, the Vespa. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Thank ladies. So what a pleasure. Still ahead. Grilling and chilling with the legend himself. The old school burger by Rev Run. One-on-one -on -one with Rev Run and his wife Justine, we're barbecuing poolside at the W Hotel in South Beach. Plus, <laughs> come out with me for a night on the town in Miami. Our next guests are stars of the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. You know Reverend Ron, hip hop pioneer, and Justine. TV personalities, cooks. When did you get into the food world? Well, she's the real cook, so I'm just like here to like eat, but I can cook, but she, I put it on her. She really can cook very yeah. well. Um, I guess we started a few years ago because we had um, a show, show called Rev Run Sunday, Sunday Suppers. Sunday on the uh, cooking channel. Yes, and so after that we kind of got the bug. What is it about this festival that brings everybody together? Food. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what else? Wine. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and, and the energy is unbelievable, is. Oh my goodness. Every year it, it gets better and better. We've been coming down for like three months and it's such a... I don't know, a good good time. When people see you two in these places, they're, they're like, oh my crazy. God. Well, yeah, now they, do. they are like, hey, oh. Rev, or hey, Justine. Did you want the chicken? <laughs> yeah. Because we, we're becoming regulars out here in Miami. Yeah. Everybody knows you because you make a mean, 
hamburger. The old school burger. She makes it for me and I'm gonna help her out on my sister. Yeah. So do you wanna share some of the secrets for the hamburger? Well, Keep well, it simple. Kiss. Yeah. Yes, keep it simple. Stupid. Yo. Stupid simple. <laughs> That's K-I-S-S. Yes, keep it that. stupid simple. Let's get a crack of lacking. So you got the salt and pepper on it. Let's salt. get over here. Rev, how do you like your... I think you should... Medium. Medium. It's medium, so okay. I gotta watch it. Okay. Because, you know, sometimes guys, they can't help themselves. They flip, 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 and no. then that's a flip all the time. You're supposed to let it... Yeah, let it rock. Let it rock. Let it rock. Let it yeah. chill. Justine's gonna dress them from here. I want you, you really want it all. The house specialty. Oh, cause she wants. You found the pickles. Do you want ketchup? Yeah. Hit her with the ketchup. <laughs> Do I look like I don't want ketchup? All right, I'm gonna bite this thing. You, you're I'm not, not gonna wait. wait for us? No, no I'll wait. Yeah, he does it usually. So All right, so I don't want you to stop your usual. The lion's share. Do it, Joey, do, it, do it with us. All right, I'll wait. Can you do just, it's going to take 30 Too seconds. late. No, Joey, Joey, please, baby. <laughs> Come on, How babe. Is it? I couldn't wait. <laughs> it was so good. One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah. Lunch is served. I surrender. It's the best hamburger. The burger. old school burger by Rev Run. And Justine. Thank you. All right. <laughs> That's where it gets tricky. No pun intended. Next, the sexiest spot Miami. The best seat in the house. In the bathroom? Miami has always been a popular dining scene, but what's happened here in the last two years is nothing short of an economic renaissance. Not too far from the beach in downtown Miami, one of the hardest reservations to get is a new fish in town, Sexy Fish. This restaurant is a huge hit in London, but instead of opening up in New York, they're here in Miami. Bringing high-end glamour and its Asian-inspired menu to Brickell in the heart of downtown. Inside, a giant fish tank. Opulent sculptures and art valued in the tens of millions of dollars. And take my word for it, go to the bathroom, even if you don't have to. Another hot spot, happy steak. Let's go inside. Happy! So nice to have you. Welcome. Thank you. So what's a nice guy from Brooklyn doing in Miami? Well, we love Miami. You know how beautiful the weather is. You know, it's a beautiful city. And uh, we have a beautiful steakhouse over here with amazing food. You do some really fun things here. How has Instagram played a part in the restaurant business? People want to go out today and they want to have a show. Nobody's just interested in just going to have a dinner. They want the views, they want the FOMO for the friends, they want the Instagram, the, they want the TikTok, they want the Snapchat. So you gotta give them a show. You gotta waz razzle and dazzle everybody. You know, we have the uh, beef case, we call it. Beef case, the beef I like case. that. Not beef, <laughs> not beef cake, case. and beef not briefcase, case. right. But it's the beef, beef case. case, gotcha. And so it's a 55 ounce Wagyu tomahawk steak which comes with a show when you ordered it, and they bring it out in this uh, beautiful case, and everybody's dancing and singing, and then we take it back and we cook it. But don't, don't get confused. It's not that the show that the people are paying for, it's actually a 55 ounce Wagyu beef steak, which in itself is very expensive and very tasty. It's not your mama's Miami anymore. The Magic City is living up to its nickname, rebranding itself as the culinary capital of the country. The place to wine, dine, and be seen. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Rosanna Scotto, and this was a taste of Miami.